So the next topic that we're going to talk about is unemployment. It, it seems like a pretty straightforward, easy concept to understand, but there is a bit of a trick involved to properly understanding what this is. So let me just write down a very simple equation first. In any economy, we have a labor force, let's call them L, which is equal to the summation of the employed people. So this includes people who actually has a job plus the unemployed people. This includes people who do not have a job. So simple L equals to N. N plus U. So the tricky part is in understanding what we actually mean by unemployed. Employed is pretty straightforward. If you have a job, you're employed. Now, to be deemed as unemployed, you need to be actively searching for a job. Just not having a job doesn't qualify you as unemployed. So for example, all of you are university students. Most of you are not actively looking for a job. So you guys are not unemployed. Uh, similarly, let's say very old people who are retired, 70, 80, 90 year old people, they're not working, neither are they actively looking for a job. So they're not unemployed either. So when we talk about the labor force, we effectively mean the people who are already working plus the people who are not working but are actively looking for a job. If you're not actively looking for a job, you're not unemployed and you're not part of the labor force. Now, this definition of unemployed has its own merits. It has its own shortcomings. Once again, I'm not going to go into too much details about why this is good or why this is bad. Uh, I will ask you all to once again go back to your one or two notes and go through, go through this topic if you don't remember it. But just to jog your memory, this has something to do with a concept of discouraged workers. 